गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम अंजली टूडे वी विल बी डूइंग सेकेंड वीडियो फॉर द टॉपिक कंडीशनल कंस्ट्रक्ट इन जावा चिल्ड्रेन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक अराउंड सेवेंटीन टू एटीन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन आर ऑलवेज देयर इन योर बोर्ड एग्जाम वन क्वेश्चन इन सेक्शन बी ऑफ फिफ्टीन मार्क्स एंड अराउंड टू टू थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन आर देयर इन योर सेक्शन ए and obviously conditional statements are used almost in each and every program which will be there in section b so this topic is very important all of you must prepare this topic properly in the previous video of this topic we did control statements and i told you that if and switch case these two are conditional statements in java and in the previous video we did all the forms of if construct and today we will be doing the second conditional statement in java that is switch statement here switch statement is there and it is multi branching that means depending upon one value it can branch to first or second or third or fourth for n number of conditions you can specify and there it will branch and that block will be executed let us see the syntax switch value or variable this is the control variable you can specify the value or the control variable now depending upon this value one of the case will be executed if this value is matching with this case then this block will be executed if the value is matching with second case second block is executed third block like this we can give a number of choices over here so for a number of choices it can branch in any of the block depending upon this value and the last is default it works like else statement of if that means if none of the choice is found to be satisfied then what statements we have written in default block that will be executed now children switch is also a keyword and we have to write switch in small letters so switch is a keyword here case is a keyword break is a keyword and default is a keyword so in switch when we take the construct the syntax of switch you have four keywords over here switch case break default i'll tell you one by one for what is the meaning what is the purpose of all these keywords in switch construct now let us see here it is mainly used in menu driven programs children generally you get one question for menu driven write a menu driven program or write an interactive program or write a program to input users choice so there in that case you will be using switch case it is more easy to use because we can use do the same thing with the if else if later multiple if else we can use but this is the easiest way this is the best alternative for using if else if later the four keywords that are used in switch construct are switch case break and default switch is the first keyword that is used in the beginning of the switch construct and it uses a control value and works depending upon that say let us write switch and suppose ch so this is how it is written the control variable or the value you write within the bracket after switch and there is no semicolon after that and the entire switch block is written within the curly braces so after this you have to put a curly braces then the second keyword that switch construct uses is case it uses a choice value that can be only int or char data type now children in if we use when we did if statement we can use any data type in if float double char boolean string any data type can be used with if construct but here only we can use int and char data types few versions of java also allow string data type in case but we are not going to consider that we will be dealing only with int and char values so here how you write within the parenthesis after switch 
you will be writing case and the value. Suppose it is 1 and after that you have to co put colon and you will be writing the statements after the colon symbol. So if the value of this ch is found to be 1, if it is 1, then this particular block will be executed, right? And if it is 2, then it will move to case 2, case 3, like that it will work. Then the third keyword is break. Break children, you know that it is a terminating statement. Now here it is not used to terminate the program. It is used only to terminate the switch construct. It will come out of the switch statement whenever we are going to give break statement. So after the case, after you have written the block, what you want to execute after each case, then here break will be used. So once you have executed these statements, break will take you out of the switch statement. And then the last keyword which is used in switch construct is default. Default is like else. If none of the case is matching with the control variable, then the default block is executed. In default, what you have to do, if you are not getting any matching input, then Whatever you have written, normally it is some message that the matching value is not found or invalid input, something like that we always use. And after you have given the statements for default, the break statement is optional because as it is, it is the last statement of your switch construct. So after that, closing braces are already there. So it is up to you whether you give break statement after the default block or you don't give, right? Let us see one example for the better understanding of switch construct. I have taken a question to input the weekday number and display the corresponding day of the week. Suppose the user says 1, we have to display Monday. If the user says 7, we have to display Sunday, right? So here I have taken util.scanner packet so that we can input the values using next int function. Here I have created the scanner object, given the message to enter weekday number and entered in b variable int b equals to sc.nextint, right? Now here which has to be the control variable? How you want to display the output depending upon the weekday number? If it is 1, Monday should be output if it is to Tuesday. So that is the control variable. So here D will be the control variable. So with switch we will be writing D. D is a control variable. Now what all possible values this control variable can have. We will be writing all these values with case values. Right. So case 1. If it is 1 we have to display system.out.println we can use here Monday. We are writing Monday over here and once we have written Monday, we don't want to continue the switch construct. We want to terminate this. So we will be giving break statement. So break is must after each case so that once that block is executed, you can come out of the switch construct. Then second case, we can write case 2 and print statement system dot out dot print ln Tuesday and break. If the value is 2, it will display Tuesday and it will terminate the switch construct. Similarly, we can give for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Wednesday, Friday, break, Saturday, break, Sunday, break. And then we write default. I told you that if none of the case is matching with the control value, then the default statement is executed. So here we can write no such day number and we close switch main and class. Now let us dry run the program. If the value of D is entered as 2. 
switch the value of days to so case one no it is not matching it will come here it will check that case two yes two is equals to two children always keep in mind that whenever we are writing the cases it checks only for equality like an if construct we have less than greater than all the relational operators work but here only and only equals will work and here you don't specify any operator only the constant value is mentioned with case it can be either int or cap you cannot have two greater than three it will not take any range any relational operator only it checks for the equality if the control variable is matching with the case value it will execute that set of statements otherwise it will execute the default block so we were taking input as two so it will come here this is matching so it will display tuesday and then break statement will take you out of the switch construct suppose the value of d is seven now here it will start matching only equality whether this d the value of d is seven it is equals to this or this or this or this yes here it will get the matching value so it will display sunday and then break will take you out of the switch construct now suppose if i have given the value as 9 the value of d i have entered as 9 so it is not matching with 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is not matching with any of these cases so what will happen it will execute the default statement here it is written system dot out dot print ln no such day number it is giving no such day number so it will be displayed obviously 9 is not a day number we have the day numbers from 1 to 7 so here the default construct the default block will be executed and i have not mentioned any break over here after the default statement because default is the last statement so after that closing of switch is there so whether you give or you don't give it is totally up to you so i hope this program this example is pretty clear to each one of you this is the control variable these are the values of the cases and this is the default statement this is default block this is your keyword cases keyword then switch is keyword and the break is keyword. Children, the difference also comes in exam. Write the difference between if construct and switch construct. We will be doing the difference also. And one more, what is important in switch is fall through. The two marks questions can also be asked. What is fall through? Explain fall through condition. Uh, what do you mean by fall through in switch construct? All these questions are asked. So, now we move on to fall through in switch construct. Absence of break statement in any of the case block generates the fall through condition. And it continues till it does not get break or the switch statement is not over. So I have written also if you want you can take the screenshot or you can just note it down. Absence of break statement in any of the case block of switch construct generates fall through condition and in this the program execution falls through all the cases it goes into the next case into the next case like that till when till it finds a break statement or the end of the switch statement occurs right now let us take the example the same example the previous example only I am taking here switch D where D is the uh, your day number and I have written here all the cases. Now suppose the value of D I take as 1. Case 1 it will found the matching value so it will display the output Monday. Monday will be displayed right. Now suppose the value of D D is 3. The value of D is taken as 3. The matching value is here. Matching case is here. What it will display? It will display Wednesday and after that 
since break statement is missing over here, it will fall into the next case. What it is there? It will display that also. It will display Thursday and then again break statement is missing. So it will display Friday also. It will fall into the next case. So here it will display Friday and after displaying Friday, it is getting the break statement here. So it will stop that fall through condition will stop. So when the input is 3, it will display Wednesday, Thursday, Friday because the break statement was missing. So what is the remedy to stop fall through situation is to give the break statement as the last statement of each case block. I hope it is clear to you. Similarly, if I give the input as 6, if the value of D is given as 6, it will display Saturday and it will also display Sunday because here break statement is missing. So children, this is how fall through condition occurs. If we don't give the break statement after any case block, then the fall through condition occurs. The difference between if and switch construct is also asked in the exams. Let us see the difference and one by one I will explain you all these points. For if, if can check condition for all relational and logical operators. You can give less than, greater than, not equals to, equals to, and, or all these relational and logical operators. We can specify with if, but for switch it can check only for equal to operation. Because it matches the case value with the control variable. So only equality operation can be performed. No other relational or logical operation is allowed. Then the second difference with single if we can check multiple condition. If A is greater than B and B is greater than C and C is greater than D. Like that multiple more than one condition we can check with one single statement. But here only one case statement can check just one condition and that two of equality. The third difference says it can check the condition on any data type. Byte, short, int, float, string, char, all the data types work with if statement. But for switch construct we work only on integer and char. And in integer, we have byte, short, int, and long. These four data types are there for integer values. And one, that is char type. Yes, I told you. That string data type is also allowed in few versions of BlueJ, but we are not taking that. We will be going only with integer and char values. The last difference is the false part of the condition is represented through else statement. If none of the condition is found to be true, whatever we have written in else, that part will be executed. And here, if none of the matching case is found, then that is represented through default statement. So children, please take the screenshot of this and you have to prepare this also for your exams. This is very important. So children, please prepare this properly. I hope conditional constructs are clear to you if as well as switch construct. In case of any doubt, please do comment in the comment section. I will be uploading more videos on this topic. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. Also, share the videos with your ICSC friends. You can join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is given in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep doing the programs, keep understanding the concepts. God bless you children.